Welcome. I'll be reacting to the final episode of Blake's Seven, season four, episode 13. I do know that Blake will return in one form or another in this episode because unfortunately someone spoiled that in the comments. But that's all I know. That and there's a very important decision that's made at the end that apparently sparked a lot of arguments amongst fans. Thank you so much to everyone who's come along for this journey. I will be doing two more videos, one on an overall review and favorite episodes, and then another just for the costumes. As always, this is a commentary. It is not a market substitute. Please support the original currently on BritBox. Taking advantage of that model footage one last time. What? They're... They're destroying it. Why? After working so hard to save the base last episode? I never liked that place anyway. Especially not once the wine ran out. <laughs> you know, I still don't think Zukan told the Federation. About the wine? About the location of the base. And if he didn't, one of the others will, mm -hmm. sooner or later. Wait, it's Sulin hairstyle time. She went with kind of an Eowyn look today. With the circlet and mostly loose hair, but a little bit tucked back. There we go. Here's Eowyn. I just love how Sulin has a completely different hairstyle every episode. So lay in a course and let's get the dignified hell out of here. That isn't the plan anymore, though, is it, Aiden? I think we can do better. Does that mean safer? In no. The end. Winning is the only safety. It's a bad place to be. No self-respecting idealist would be found dead there. I imagine that is what he is trying to avoid, being found dead anywhere. It's Blake, isn't it? Hmm. Villa figured it out? Oh, already? The question is, is it Blake or is it the other Blake, the clone? Let's just appreciate that the huge billowy shirts are still part of his ensemble, even on the run. This whole outfit is so Blake. Alright, wait, wait. He seems okay-ish, but being strapped together like that is concerning. Was Avon able to fix him? I'm still worried about Orak right now. Callie didn't get out. And Blake wasn't even there. Never had been. Do you take me for a fool? Only a fool would go to Gouda Prime without a very good reason. Orak, what proof do we have that Blake is on Gouda Prime? That is where his trail ends. He's okay. What trail? <laughs> oh, must be bounty hunters. Thanks, Blake. <gasps> He's a bounty hunter now? I love it. There's a premium for bringing you back alive, but I'll kill you if I have to. The price for your dirt isn't bad. But for a home, you need a family. And mine were murdered when the Federation declared Gouda Prime an open planet. A general suspension of the penal code. That's right. You mean there's no law at all? Oh. It's the fast way to get resources exploited. They were given title to the land. And then somebody discovered there was more profit under the ground than there was on top of it. Only the farmers were in the way and the law was on their side. Hence the open planet designation. Well, get rid of the law, you get rid of the problem. A formal application was laid before the High Council on Earth within the last 30 days. I can get you the exact oh, date. I don't of... wish to interrupt, Master. Then kindly don't. I wasn't <laughs> talking to you. You were attempting to override a superior system. Be silent. And I was forbidden to speak unless spoken to. Wow. All right, you're spoken to. What is it? And Scorpio is under attack. He might have fled with that. Arlen. My name is Arlen. That's the name they're paying for. That's right. Blake. Alignment on three and four is drifting. What happened to that super fast drive you have, hmm? Power dive the atmosphere. Fake it. Make it look as though we're out of control. I may not have to fake that. <gasps> oh. We can use the teleport. He's right. It's true. Speed. Calculated risk. 
Wait, Orac. 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 Where is Orac? Orac. Where is Orac? Take Orac with you. Come on, Tarrant. I can't. What? Goodbye. Thank you, Tarrant. At least he's going out doing something he loves, which is piloting. He may yet survive. Yeah. That was a very Captain Scarlet move, except he doesn't have the survival skills. Well, we're back to how we kind of started. Just Avon and Orek. Do you know it's getting so you can't make a dishonest living on this planet anymore? <laughs> that is the object of the exercise. Last known locations and probable movements for those subjects and official authorization to hunt them. Thank you. And how much best car do we get bringing them in? I really like this. I mean, I am actually a member of the Bounty Hunters Guild because I did all the bounties in Galaxy's Edge. So I am also official. I don't know where I'm going for my bounty anyway, so we're just going to hope Boba Fett knows where he's going and I'm just going to follow him. Here is your big payout. Welcome to the Bounty Hunters Guild. I made it! It was official bounty hunter! And I can see how a kind of disillusioned Blake who went through everything that he did would end up kind of in this role of just trying to do a job, still kind of stopping nefarious folks. He took down that other bounty hunter who they mentioned was a terrible person and hurting people, so you can still see that he's Blake. He's been through stuff. I have information. What information? For my life. Why did you tell her your name? Not to mention my impersonation of an official distress beacon. Just keep <laughs> sending, <laughs> Aura. Right. I don't particularly <laughs> want to spend the night out here. What a setting. The foggy trees. I'm glad we got off the ship for a bit in this final episode. Old farmhouse, I gather. Flyer, coming fast. Flyer? As in transport? As in transport. Well, let's get out there and try their attention. Wait a minute, Villa. What do you mean, wait a We don't know who that is. I mean, I know who that is, but they don't. But one thing I do know, if you want to survive on this planet, you have to assume that everyone is out to get you. I always assume that wherever I go. The difference is, on Gouda Prime, you'll be right. Let me teach you how to disappear. You look like you could lose a fight to an alley cat. Chillin' like a villain, chillin'. But it's hard being what I'm not. Well, if you don't, you're gonna get us caught. He said we gotta stay low-key. Now show us how bad you can be. We still don't have Tarrant confirmation. Sir, the poor Basil is still uh, kind of awake. Are you still not awake, sir? But I will have to close down now. Crash you too, that. You get some rest, okay? Make it impossible for me to continue. Don't. Nice reading. I'm so sorry they didn't reprogram you properly. They're shooting at me. <laughs> nice. I mean, there's plenty of just wood around you can put in there. Villa? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Now that's an entrance. Putting Villa on guard was suicidal. <laughs> What's the matter? Is staying alive too complicated for you? This is an interesting team up. You want to tell me your name then? Not particularly. Hmm. It was these they wanted. It's difficult to tell who you can trust these days. But as tests go, isn't that, and this, a bit obvious? Presumably they thought the noise would alert someone. In your case, they could have put it down on the roof without any trouble. Ooh. Ava! <laughs> Cute little ships. Don't look down, Bella. An old smuggler's trick. 
Did you learn it from an old smuggler? No, from a young one, actually. Her name was Jenna. Oh, oh, the Jenna reference. What happened to her? She tried to run the blockade once too often. She hit the self-destruct. What? And when it blew, she took half a squadron of gunships with her. Okay, I need details. Well, R.I.P. Jenna. Is that the main control center? Diva can tell you more about that than I can. But profitable. Oh, no. His name is Talent. Your flight computer mentioned it whilst you were unconscious. Oh, Talent. no. This one has a very high Federation price on his head. In which case, that other flyer was merely a coincidence. A coincidence, however, that might just have analyzed a random flight program called ORAC. Why don't you sit down, Talent? I mean, I don't know what side this new Blake will be on. I mean, obviously he doesn't like the Federation, but he's also kind of desperate, so I don't know. No, of course not. I'm satisfied. Oh? These stupid games you insist on playing, Blake will get someone killed eventually. I have to test each one myself. No, you don't have to. So this is a rebel cell. You don't need to do the bounty hunter routine either. <laughs> me. He isn't armed. I didn't notice that slowing him up. That's true. <laughs> Relax, Steve. Ow. Oh no. <laughs> like, in your attempt to test, you might have I'm glad you gone too it. far. Security personnel to me. <laughs> oh, I liked her. Is it him? It's him. He sold us, Avon. All of us. Even you. Avon, it's me, Blake. Stand still! Have you betrayed us? Betrayed me? Talent doesn't understand. Neither do I. Blake. I set all this up! Yes. Avon, I was waiting for you. Guns. All She's of with you. the Federation, isn't she? The Observer. Your friend Blake said he couldn't tell anymore who was Federation and who wasn't. He was right. He couldn't. Uh, I've never been against the Federation. That is a bold ending. That was very interesting. It reminded me a little bit of the ending to Divergent. Well, let's analyze this. So, Blake is definitely dead. And I think that they have been ramping up to this moment for quite a while we've seen Avon kind of not himself and lashing out being very cold-hearted even for him shoot first ask questions later then there was the misunderstanding of Blake being way too paranoid and yet not paranoid enough at the same time but his tests of Tarrant ended up just convincing everyone he was working kind of for the Federation 
in a way, trying to prep the planet. And you saw that look on the face of Avon in that moment of he's been betrayed by so many people, the woman he loves, and here's his best friend, or at least the closest equivalent that he's ever had, seemingly betray him was just the last straw. That moment between them was almost inevitable and yet tragic. So I, I that was believable between the two of them. And Blake is definitely dead. On the other hand, Dana could have been badly injured, could have revived, potentially. I would say the others that were hit could have been hit by stunning or not instantly dead shots because we didn't see a lot of blood on them or anything. And then they deliberately made the final blackout. So we just heard shots and we can imagine whatever we want. So options include Avon just being like, well, or he could have shot the first shot at the Federation guards and the rest just took him out and he's boromir Another option, which is the more positive one, I would say, is there are other people that were Blake's people. And for example, Dana could have been injured but able to still shoot. We were told Jenna was killed, but what if she wasn't? She could have jumped in at the end. And all those shots could have been the Federation guards being taken out. I kind of love the fact there are so many options here of what you want to believe. Was the entire show a group of rebels who tried to stop the Federation and failed? Showing us that no matter how hard we fight, there's not really anything we can do in the end? Or is the ending that the Federation was stopped here and the fight continues, albeit with some terrible casualties? The lesson being you can fight back, but there's going to be consequences and you're going to lose people that you love and there's going to be misunderstandings. Hundreds, thousands will rise to take our places. Even the Federation can't kill that fast. Personally, I like the narrative that Avon stands there and realizes there's nothing we can do and uh, everything has been for nothing. And the shots in the end are just him being taken down. Like, if you've ever seen Hero. There's a very different reason for it, but similar to the scene when Nameless is just <laughs> annihilated with those arrows at the end. That's my personal belief of what this ending was. I know it's not the happy version, but I feel like it's the most satisfying. Unfortunately, Orac is now in the hands of Servalin. Unless you believe the rebels actually came in and saved them at the end and Orac is with them now, story. I will be doing two more videos, one for general overview of the series and then favorite episodes, and another video just on the costumes. So stay tuned for that. They will be coming out as usual on Mondays. After that will be Robin of Sherwood. Thank you again for coming along with me. If you made it this far, please put Liberator in the comments. Now let's see who will win the arrows. I'm kind of rooting for him. It might be because I like his outfit. Robin, you need to take her on a date or something. Oh, Marion, what's the matter? Nothing. Just living in the woods with a bunch of guys. Well, why are you behaving like this? This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm ridiculous now, am I? <gasps> Robin. Robin. Just stop talking right now. <laughs> Go get her flowers. Oh. oh, bless you, my son.